A new day, a new project, a beautiful day today, in fact. Sunshine and uh, still plenty of snow, but hopefully the spring is coming. Yes, I'm tired of winter. So listen, what I want to do today. I want to connect the amplifier I showed you before. This AB8685 volts, the x amplifier from AirBody. I want to connect it to my Nano VNA. The point is that from the output, Nano VNA is supplying 0 dB, you know, doing all the filtering or connection or cable loses or whatever. And here on uh, S21, it's supposed to be maximum 0 dB. So what that means? That this guy can blow up my input here. That's why I'm gonna have a attenuator. What is that? It's a simple uh, device which is deducting the gain, I may say. It's ungaining the signal path to a certain value of uh, dBs. And uh, I already have the board here prepared. How is looking an attenuator? It's a very simple schematic. Let's say we have the in here. We go to a resistor. We have the out. That should be like 250 ohms. I'm talking about a 20 dB attenuator. And from here to the ground, oh sorry, we have another two resistors to the ground. And that will be around 60 ohms. So 250 ohms and two resistors of 60 ohms. And that's the attenuator. The board is done almost so now i have to now i have to search for the right uh, resistors and build the attenuator and we'll do some first measurements 270 my trusty key mc 101 from k weights if you like to have a solid multimeter just buy one of these it's cheap and it's fancy 270 Okay, maybe I'll use this one instead of 250. We have more attenuation. Okay, so I have to find two pieces of 60 ohms. Or should I use 47? 247. Okay, let's use that. So I'll do even a bigger attenuation. So we have 47 here instead of 60. So the point is that I don't really need to be so precise all i need is to have the gain uh, down first it's not hard at all to do something like this as long as you have the right parts yep perfect so it's we are ready to do some measurements so i'll just use the nano vna for now no computer connection yet yeah so we are on 868 and now all I have to do is to have a cable like this from the attenuator output and to this input here. Okay, so I may say it's working perfect. We have a minus 23.41 dB attenuation. This is already calibrated. That's the attenuator here. Let's write this on it. You see, we have this line here at minus 23.36. You can see the numbers there. And let's see about a direct connection between port 1 and port 2. And there we go. Because of the cable, we have a minus 3.15 attenuation at 868 MHz. And uh, by the way, we can very nice and easy to see the cable attenuation and the connectors too. Let's say let's start with 100 megahertz and let's stop to 2000 or 2 giga. And here we have the cable attenuation depends of the frequency. You see, this kind of cable is very nice and uh, it's almost linear to these frequencies. Okay, back we already have a minus 3.13 attenuation from the cables itself. All we have to do now is to connect the amplifier right here. 
so that's the input I should go like this input output of course from the attenuator and now we have another cable we need to use another cable to connect this with this and this is very simple everything is in place all I have to do now is to find the power supply so do you remember this guy I used it before when I've been testing this amplifier so we'll take a look at this one too now this is plus and the other one is minus okay I hope this is the way it is this all right so plus is red like usually and we have the plus okay ready let's see check the nano DNA I hate to say this I got the input I got the output but I don't see any signal here once again it was a bad connection or something so we got the attenuator input output let's try okay where are you my dear I need this guy let's check the cables again we should have minus 23 that's right we are good there output obviously and input to the amplifier let's see the nano VNA let's watch the nano VNA okay and here we go I don't know if it's amplification or something but we have like minus 56.73 dB huh. maybe it's not enough voltage let me check that so this amplifier should work 3.6 volts to maximum 6 so maybe we don't have the voltage minus no we have 5.5 volts that's plenty that's very okay I really don't know what to say at 868 megahertz we have a minus 55 dB if we consider minus 23 from the attenuator well doesn't look good at all if it's minus 53 then I can connect this straight to the amplifier we don't have an amplification here we have an attenuation I really don't know what is this about but I was expecting a lot of gain and we got no gain this one it's only 40x I know output perfect input here maybe I'm doing something wrong just let me know but you know something as long as we are here I can give a try to this little guy and here we are now testing one of my uh, old amplifiers you know very simple amplifier this is just a bare amplifier <laughs> no uh, the X is just a, a RX I may say and power supply and there we are you can see very easy we have minus 0.63 dB amplification so if we uh, if we do the math we already have minus let's say 23.5 and we got here 944 okay let's say 9.5 and we have a 0 and here we have a 14 so it's exactly like being advertised 14 db amplification okay but let me have a, a final uh, test because you see I'm still giving a chance to this amplifier to see if it's working or not so I have my radio hooked on up and running and the amplifier it's here at the input of the radio and let's have some let's have some gain too not too much 14.4 power supply to the radio I mean to the amplifier we got the green LED there do we see any difference do we see any noise not too much I can't even say nothing nothing Oh, 
Okay, more gain. We should clearly see now the amplifier noise. Yeah, we have a little bit of something. Okay, automatic gain. And nothing, absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm sorry to say that, but is dead. And let's connect the antenna straight to the radio. Look there. Look. Yeah, I can see there a few spots. Yes, let me do something else. You see, I'm running a beacon on 868.9. It's a huge signal there, but I just cut off the gain. No gain for the radio. And we have a strong signal, as you see. Okay, now let's have the amplifier back. Is this the right connection? Yeah, right. Absolutely right connection. Antenna, same antenna, same gain, same everything. Okay. Power. Green LED. Okay, so we have something there. Very fade. I'm not sure if it's from the amplifier or it's just, you know, getting through, through different circuits. Okay, let's try this. No amplifier. Of course, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just passing through. It's just passing through the the uh, you know the wires here and everything. So it's not a matter of amplification. Okay, again, dead. Goodbye, sayonara, kaput. Okay, guys. So that's it for today. I'm sorry I didn't have good news and uh, the experiment is not a success. This is the amplifier, by the way. Uh, a a b eight six eight five v probably from five volts or something, and these are the two little ones c p c p f one eight c p f one eight nine two z. It's still a good chance for this kind of amplifier to work and to be used with Flora and uh, Helium Mining. I'm pretty confident about that. In fact, I have some feedback from some other people who are using this kind of amplifiers and they said uh, they are working great. And um, I'll be back with some news after replacing my uh, stuffs here. So now I have to buy me some more. <laughs> Anyway, I hope it was uh, useful for you and uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, push the button. I need you, I need you guys. I really need you guys, you know, this channel is uh, it's running because of you. And uh, see you soon with some other news and you know me. The most important thing, don't forget to have fun and bye bye. <laughs>